Hello. <coughs> hello. 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 <laughs> I'm live tonight over the table. <coughs> Decided just to stick to the table tonight. So I can show you things when I say I'm going to show you on the table. <gasps> okay, I can hear myself. That's good. And I'm hoping you can hear me too. Just get my comments up. And welcome. Tonight I'm going to play with a kit and my question tonight is do you prefer to use kits that have everything in them already or do you like prefer to buy your own products and be creative with them? Hi Athena. So that's my question. I'll bring that up a few times through the night. And I'm going to be using... So last week I told you that I'd be showing you this set, which is Hello Dear Friend. So this one is in the new mini catalogue, which is out from January to June. I think the date's on the back. June 30th, yep. So you can get anything in this catalogue up until the 30th of June. And sometimes they keep things in the next catalogue and other times they retire them. So we just have to keep an eye on that. Either way, it depends on the mood. Okay, yes, I can I can agree with that. <laughs> For me too. But I thought because we looked at the other one last week and this amazing, you are amazing. And last week I also talked about starter kit ideas and I've got this little spreadsheet I made up if you were thinking of joining Stampin' Up! at the moment is a really good time with the Celebration. Celebration has a... Let me get my Celebration come up. Yep. Celebration has a special joining feature, which is you get these extra papers when you join at the moment. So that's just till the end of February. So that's why I thought I'd focus a little on what you could use and use it for you and show you how to use it. And um, yeah, so I've got a few different ideas. We talked about this starter kit idea number one last week. And this week I've put in the Hello Dear Friends kit as so you could purchase this in a starter kit. And then you can add all these other things. I've got a couple of different ideas as well. But they've, uh, I don't think that one's, yeah, this one's got the mini cut and emboss machine in it if you wanted to get one of those. But anyway, we can talk about that. If you wish to know more about that, let me know. Happy to send you that information. So just looking at this set tonight, um, I'll open that up in a minute and we'll have a play with that. And last week we looked at the um, Field of Flowers. And this week in my starter kit suggestion, I also have this lovely U that comes with a nice, <laughs> don't drop everything, a nice punch that comes as a bundle. So you can get that as a bundle. And I've included that in one of my suggestions for a starter kit that goes with this other thing we're going to play with tonight. But what I liked about all these, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> clear my throat, is the this paper here comes as one of the free celebration items. So I put a card up that someone else made this week on my Facebook page and it has samples of she's used this paper, designer series paper, and this has lots of different variations in it and I just really like how you Stampin' Up! do it. So you can actually mix and match things. So Lovely You is in the annual catalogue but and so is this one, the Field of Flowers. But they've got this lovely designer series paper, hi Jill, in the um, celebration now. And But you can still put them all together. You could do lots of fun things with that and have some of the designer series paper behind it. So this is one I did last week. And this one you'll find um, a similar thing in the annual catalogue itself. If you want to just use their ideas, you know, that's great. Change them up a bit. Change the colours. Change, put a bit of DSP behind it. Yeah, so I really like these. See, that's got that. And you, when you look at that stamp set, it's got, you know, little flowers you could punch out. You could even stamp and cut out with your scissors if that, there's not a punch to go with it. There is another one, a Blooms one, which I haven't got my finger on right now. But um, that's got some die cuts in it as well. And I'll feature a couple of other cards over the next week or two. Hi, Mandy. I was just about to talk about your card. And I'll be featuring one of Mandy's cards <laughs> next week, this week, next week. 
uh, that features the other designer series paper in the celebration as well. So we just look at different things and I've also, so we'd, I'm just trying to feature a few different of the items in the celebration that come free when you purchase $90 of product. And you can purchase the products out of any catalogue, it doesn't have to be just the mini catalogue. So this is um, just a quick squeeze again at the celebration items and if you want one of these brochures I'm happy to send you one or direct you to the website where you can find it. So we used the ombre paper in my class last week and that was this one and you'll see the little snapshot video with some of my class people in there that on Saturday we had a great time. It was really good. Yeah, so tonight we'll play with the set, Hello Dear Friend, and I'll get that out in a minute, and we'll have a, uh, see what we can do with it. We might even have a look at this if we've got time, but I'll be making up some other cards during the week with this DSP as well. So this has just got double-sided on every page, so you get two of each. I've already used this one, look. <laughs> it's got the bumblebee on the back. I love the colours of that, look at that. I've shown this a few times in various places so you can catch up on them. And I'm loving this colour. Just jade. Very pretty paper. Very nice. Let's put that to the side. I can reach it again if I need it. So this is the Hello Dear Friend. Look, I haven't even opened it. I thought I'd keep it special for tonight. Hi Di. Just talking about kits and making things. So for those of you who have just come online, I've got a question. I'm trying to do a question each week. And tonight my question is, do you prefer to use card kits like this? Hi, Jill. Or do you like to use products that you purchase yourself and combine? So there's the label if you want to know what it's called. Hello Dear Friend Card Kit. And it's on page 6 of the mini catalogue. Look at that gorgeous box. You could even... Oh, I'm having visions. I bought the... <laughs> I bought the stitched triangles. Oh no, I'm just curious now that I've opened that. I didn't think of this earlier. But I had, I had just happened to have these out tonight, which is... It was sitting right next to the... Um, lovely you stamp set and I just grabbed it out of the cupboard but I'm just thinking can what does this fit on here anyway you could actually cut out some DSP with a triangle couldn't you I don't think that one actually matches does it but you could just put them on anyway I'm gonna try that later and fancy that up a little bit if you wanted to even if you just did one that'd be look a big one let's try a big one no, I think they're odd shapes. I don't think they're triangle shapes. They're sort of... Now, who knows the name for that? Do I prefer card kits or freestyle? I prefer freestyle, Diana. Use all sorts of bits and pieces. Okay, that's cool. I like making my own. I like both, like Athena said. We both like making both. That's okay, Mandy. It's nice that you could pop in. Always nice to have you along. Anybody? Everybody. Look, you could put a DSP over like that, couldn't you? And you could stick it on and do another one somewhere else just to make the box a bit fancy if you want to use it for a um, a gift. Anyway, <laughs> we'll play with that another time when I go to use the box as a gift. But yeah, they're cute, cool. Look at them, stitched triangles. So I've got the stitched circles, squares and rectangles now. And now I've got the triangles. So I'll just show you what's in the box. What's in the box? You've got some copper, copper twine. Let's pull that out for you. I've got a bit of glare going on with my little light there. Sorry about that. Copper twine. Stand up so I can see where I've got that. That's pretty, isn't it? Let's pull it out. There you go. It's not under the light there. There we go. Uh, you get some Stampin' Dimensionals, which I won't use tonight because I've got some other ones open, so I'll just keep that handy. 
and then we've got our little so this is a kit that comes with all the pieces in it that you need to make the cards you don't need to add extra pieces so it's very handy if you've not stamped before or even if you have and you're in a hurry and you just want something quick and easy you don't have to think about it too much so we've got the stamps there I'll just pop them there so you can see them and this one actually comes with a little block oh it's all packaged nicely tonight isn't it lots of packaging oh, let's get my scissors in there get that out make a really firm base in there this thing this card here which I keep to put into packages when I'm posting them get rid of that right what have we got here we've got some little envelopes nice little envelopes with colors in there we've got oh look at the little cards so these are like little note cards gift cards just fold them like that and use your bone folder when I find it <laughs> it's on the table somewhere no the table's not too bad yet just got a few you know catalogs and things all over it just move those Here it is. See, I knew it wasn't far away. Here's my bone folder with my name on it. Right, so there's the little cards. And then you've got some other envelopes as well that match. Let's get this off the table. You get an instruction sheet. So we'll pick one in a minute. We'll take a vote in a minute. Which one will I make tonight? So we'll have it open. How many have we got to choose from? We've got... They're not in the same order, so I'll put that. It's easier to see like that, isn't it? We've got remember, smile, thank you, and hello. So I'll call them that, all right? So I'll put it back down that way so you can see them. So we've got remember, smile, thank you, and hello. So we'll take a vote. Which one will we make tonight? And of course with these you get all these little cut out pieces as well so to do all the flowers there's never enough room on the table is there there's more envelopes I saw those envelopes before so in the catalogs if you see oh you like thank you okay um all all inclusive kit means you have everything and then the other kits are called something else oh look at this it's vellum that's vellum and you punch it out it's already punched you don't have to cut it you just have to pull it out of the thing here's your little stamp block so it's only a thin stamp block it's not the same as your normal stamp blocks of course these are the usual it's the same size as a D you like the mauve ones these cards um, but it's only a thin little block just to get you by it's very handy though Oh, look at these. They're like they've been water washed. Cleaner or like those. Are they gorgeous? Like we painted them. I should get my paintbrush out and just pretend I just painted those ones. <laughs> I happen to have one here somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. I'm not sure where I put my paintbrush. So I can't do that after all. Oh, are these. You know what? When you open up these out of the box, they just look so gorgeous. I'm like looking at the book when I looked at this in the catalogue it didn't really grab me it was like oh yeah I, I really like this one and the colours and everything but this one didn't grab me much but I thought you know what I'm just going to try it anyway I put it in that starter kit idea and I'll just give it a go and now that I'm opening it in front of you ah oh, the colours are just incredible it looks so much better it looks so much better than even in the catalogue. I'm like, wow. And there's the little die cut ones. So they're already cut out. They are so gorgeous. All right. Okay. Well, that got me excited more. And these are all cut out as well. What else have we got? We've got some sticky bits under there. So there's more glue. So I'll put that in the packet with the other glue. I'll use my own glue dots so they're glue dots they're not embellishments I once thought these were some fancy new fancy kind of um, bling 
because they've sort of got a bit of writing on them if you see that up close where am I here I am if you look at them up close they've got letters on them but they're actually glue dots and that's the paper that you remove <laughs> okay when you're using them so don't be fooled I just wasn't sure what they were I thought oh that's unusual bling okay that's different <laughs> oh one of my leaves fell out okay how did we go thank you I like the mauves one. Oh, I love the green leaves okay so we'll make the thank you card yes and that's on the little one that's on the little one all right I'll just shift a few things off the table and find what we need get all this out of the way uh, where will I put that hang on get all of this off here I'll need the stamps. I'll use the other block. Oh no, maybe I'll... Will I use that one? No, I'll put that one away. I'll use the bigger block for tonight. And there's my blingy thing. And this comes with a Misty Moonlight ink spot, but I won't open that one because I've already got an ink spot. It's Misty Moonlight. I I made it with the re-inkers. You can just use the re-inkers to ink up the uninked spots. So I'll use that one. And we've got, let me put this over here. I'll find the big one, hey? Find the big version. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure I'm not moving my thing too much. So I want the base. So I've got the base here. I'll just leave that flat and I want one of these pieces over here so you just pop them out like that oops drop my stamps pop them out oh I'm getting all of them out I have to make some more cards you like the green leaves I love the green leaves they are so gorgeous so we want one of those and then we want we want something to stamp our thank you on here, over here so I'm thinking that's the small one see they just cut out like that if you don't like the little tabs left on them you just get a nail file and just file that off just smooth that off a bit I just keep a nail file handy for that only not for my nails <laughs> not that nail file anyway it just happens to be purple the same color we're working with <laughs> um, so we'll need one of those and we'll need some flowers that I just buried over here so we've got the little flowers here so these look like we just did a bit of faux art and painted them which you can always you can I'm going to do that one week I've gonna I bought the brushes so the um, the wide I'm just not sure where I'll put them I think I might have put them back in the cupboard um, oh no here they are I thought I put them up here here they are so these ones you fill with water these are called water painters and the old ones were just single brushes and they had the single tip on them like these ones so now they've got a small tip. Take the lids off. I haven't got any water in them. Small tip and medium tip and then the flat brush. So I've done folk art before so I'm familiar with using all the different brushes but I haven't actually played with these yet. I'm planning to. So we'll do that one week and paint some flowers. That will be fun. So we just pretend we just painted all these. Look. No. <laughs> you could paint them. right so they come in a set like that if you're looking for them and they're in the annual catalog on page on page let me see if I can find them quickly ha 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 ha, ha. I think I'm going the wrong way no oh, maybe I'm going the right way look at that I didn't lose some flowers did I no uh, painters here they are page 146 water painters and they're $21 for the set of three. They come in their own little packet. There we go. 
Here we go. I did find them quickly, didn't I? Back to our program. Program. Back to the program. Here we go. So they've got that under there. And the flower. So I get all my bits out first and we want a little bit of bling. And this tells you um, cut 30.5 centimeters of cord. We just need to find a ruler. Hang on, here's my ruler. And the scissors help. Here we go. Got my bling on my scissors still. <laughs> Mm. So, any crafting happening with me? Anyone crafting? 30.5. Well, we'll just go about there. That's about 30.5. Right, we've got our bling. And I think we'll just tie that. Where are we? To tie a bow. <laughs> I love tying bows. I have good days and bad days at tying bows. <laughs> Saturday was funny. Just couldn't tie a bow for the life of me. Oh, that's really hard to tie a bow because it just comes undone. Let's try that again, shall we? It's quite, it's sort of springy. And it just came back undone. Let me try. I might have to do it the other way. Like this. Hang on. Yep, looks like I'm going to have another bow challenge. Okay, so if you put them like that and then push that one through there. Oh, it's really tricky this stuff. It's not like soft ribbon. It's pretty. It looks nice. Oh, let's get a grip on it with all your fingers. I think I got it. Oh, look. Oh, tie it tight because it's going to come undone really easily, I think. And I'll be putting a glue dot on that in a minute. Oh, I did it. Look at that. Woohoo. Glue dots. The glue dots come like this, mini glue dots, or that little glue dot thing in the packet. Okay. This one. That's the glue dot. I'll leave them there. Right. So, let's get that out of the way. And before I put it all together, I'm just going to do my stamp. So we've got the thank you stamp there. And before I use... Oh, sorry about the noise. Before I use these, I'm going to just clean them. No crafting tonight? Oh, okay. So I'll just flip that over. This is my lovely clean chamois. <laughs> there we go. Just give them a good little scrub on there before you take them all off. Get the residue off. Put my little bow there. And I want the thank you. Oh, this is very pretty, this thank you. Move that over. So if you were using the other block, it looks like this. You can just you can even line this up on the grid paper if you've got some grid paper. You can buy grid paper from Stampin' Up too. If you need to. And just pop it on like that. So I will just use this one. There we go, thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to use a, um, oh, I'll just use a rough, rough piece of paper tonight. I just got a new bit of paper out. <laughs> I don't want to stamp on it yet. All right, so we just line that up on the little thank you. Hope that I don't get my head in the way. I'm trying to line it up best you can anyway. Or if you don't want to line it up, do it crooked. Because that's okay too. Yeah, I just went down. Oh yeah, they've got it down close to there. That's okay. At the end of the day, it's a handmade card. That's what makes it special. Because you made it. This is so cute. Okay, so I'm going to stick that on first. What does this say? Thank you. Thank you. I 
it's just got all the different languages there that's good isn't it so we're just going to use the glue dots mini glue dots and I'm just going to put one or two probably because this will cover it up so we'll put the glue dots in the middle sort of so that it covers it so you won't see them through the vellum put one there just push on that hard so that it comes off if you do it it's pretty good on the vellum but if you do it on card stock if you don't push on it hard enough or the, or the DSP sometimes it rips it a bit so you've got to make sure you press on that did I put that on the wrong side anyone watching <laughs> <laughs> oh we're having a silver side look silver <laughs> I just put that on the wrong side that was funny I don't know if I can get it off I'll tell you I'll tell you in a second otherwise we're going to be making something very different and it's going to be silver not that end I want this end I want my spatula end right oh I was paying more attention to the glue dots I think that'll come off because it's vellum. I'm hoping so anyway. And you won't see. Oh, actually, it probably wouldn't matter, would it? You probably don't even need to pull it off, do we? Now that I think about it, we can just put the flowers on it. Oh, of course. Let's just do that. Alrighty there. Ha <laughs> ha, I agree. <laughs> oh dear. Wrong side. Thanks, Di. I've got to pay more attention to my chat. It's hard because if they come in later. Okay, so it's it's okay because I'm going to put the flowers on it anyway. So we'll just stick the flowers on there. But normally <laughs> I would put them on the back first. Now we'll put them on the back. That's okay. And you just change it off if you do that anyway. Not too worried. It's good to know you have got another side that looks silver. So I'm just sort of lining that up in the center. And then I'm going to put my little bow on. Now you can either stick this on under here to hold it in position, which is what I might do because it's quite twisty. So I'll just put that down there and get a glue dot. center that a bit just putting a glue dot on there Urgh. I normally use the pointy end for this but I haven't got it out just do that like that and I'm going to use another one or two I'll take the pointy end again and do that so that I've got a few on there so really hold it. I'm gonna get that down. Well, oh, sticking in my fingers. <laughs> it's sticking to me. I'm gonna push that in a bit underneath that one. I want to make sure that that sticks. Ugh. Sticky. It is sticky. All right, and the other thing we want is we want some dimensionals on this one so that it sits up a little bit higher on the card. So I'll just make sure these, this is, these are really weird, eh? Look at them. Pull them down a bit. Good save. I'm stuck to it. Ah. <laughs> that stuff is so sticky. Right now, I'm going to be careful not to get these stuck on those. All right, I'm going to try. That one there. Um, wondering whether to put one over that or not. So what I might do is put. You can use the edges of your dimensionals too. Make sure you use them all up like this. So you can just cut a piece. So I'm going to cut a piece like that. I'm just going to stick that over the top of that. Oops, the daisies. Not there though. Hang on. I don't want it to be out. I don't want it to show. 
All right. So I'm going to pull this piece down here and this piece down here. And if you want them to stay, see when I turn this over, they're not going to stay out the bottom. So I think I might put something here as well to stop them. So I'm going to just use a little bit more of my dimensionals. I'm going to put one over the top of this piece just to hold it out. Sorry, <laughs> this is not going the way I planned. To hold that in place there so that when I turn it over, it's out the bottom. And that way you don't have to worry about fiddling with it quite so much. Just look at that one. I think that's okay. Quite happy with that. If you're not, I think that one might be sticking up a little tiny bit. Just pull that down a tad. Stick that down. Right, oh, now get all these pieces off. Can use your little take your pick tool to pick all those bits off, put them in the bin. Has anyone got this kit already? Is anyone playing with it? Oh, that moved. Dang it. <laughs> Never mind. We'll get there in a second. We're nearly there. Oh. It's good it's sticky because that means it'll stick. Righto, we're almost done. We'll just fill these up and you want to see the little bit at the bottom so I'm just sort of centering it across there just give it a bit of a press especially in the middle where you've got that bowy bit and the extra sticky and then when you're finished you just trim your little they've just trimmed the little ends off a bit Trim them there. And we've got a little bow. Well, my bow turned out a little bit bigger at the top there, but that doesn't matter. Cool! That was easy, wasn't it? Well, it was a bit fiddly in spots, but it was not too bad. You don't have it, but you do like the card bases. Yes, so do I. Just use my bone folder there. I should have done that first, but I forgot. You can do it on the front as well if you want to. Underneath everything just to fold it nicely. So then that one goes nicely with that little envelope. Isn't that cute? Lovely. So the other set I was talking about tonight, let's move these out of the way, was the, where did I put it? The Lovely You. And the interesting thing about this is I just realised, seeing them up close of course, those beautiful leaves are very similar to this. So you could mix and match using this set um, with the punch, so that's the punch that goes with this and with this set as well. So the um, the suggestion I had for this one, I'll show you my spreadsheet. So what I've done here, I started putting where you find them but I haven't finished that column. I did put the price at the moment and how much you left over. If you were to buy a starter kit and join Stampin' Up! while sale, you know, now, or you can buy this while these catalogues are current, um, but if you wanted to join now before the end of February, you could get all of this plus that extra paper that's in the celebration catalogue, which is quite exciting for those who haven't seen it before. I don't actually have the paper on hand to show you. 
but I've got the little catalogue. So if you joined during celebration, you pay $169, you get to choose $235 worth. So I've done each, so I've done three suggestions here and I had one last week as well. So I've tallied it up. So you only, you can't go over the 235, but you can go up to 235. So I think I did pretty well on this bottom one here, look. 15 cents to go <laughs> so sometimes I've included you know a clearance rack item there's things in the clearance rack at the moment that does change though so it just depends what's available at the time but um, basically you could get all the things that I've listed in the list there and so in this list here I've included the hello dear friends kit which I just made basic white note cards and envelopes so that's a set of cards and envelopes which I haven't got in my hand and um, they are like just little cards and envelopes to match they're white so they're just handy to have you don't need to have other card stock to start with you could just use those this, I put the snail mail twine in because it's pink and white and it's really nice um, twine I, think I had that out last week and it just shows you I'll just show you in here where it is so in the back of the mini catalogue you'll find all the um, a brief list of things so like a, an index at the back I've just ticked the things I have so this is the twine it's pink and it's white and it's on page 55 to see it in the kit that it comes in it's not a kit sorry 55 it's a it's a suite so the difference between the kits and the suites kits come like this one tonight with everything you need you don't have to buy extra product the one I used last week you had to buy an ex extra product so that was a medley I think is the name of it I'm still getting used to the names of things that was a project so this one is an all inclusive kit tonight this one last week was called a project kit and you had to add a few extra things to use it the snail mail is a suite and you get extra pieces like the bling and the the embellishments and you get the DSP and the stamps and the dies or the punches whatever they have um, so I included this twine in my in my suggestion here um, block H because they tell you which blocks they use for different things so because this kit came with a little block in it that was the size of a D I thought well I'll just put the H in this one because that goes with some of the stamps on here I uh, Tombow glue I've just included the basic glue for my kits uh, and dimensionals for some of them but because this came with dimensionals I didn't add them in as a separate thing on my list I've added in a simply chamois so that you can clean your stamps and I just went to the clearance rack to see what was available so this week those were available the pearl doilies for $3.10 so that's just a suggestion in case you're interested in purchasing anything and or joining and that way you can see how you can use the products together as well so this is the lovely you so we could always do something with that one as well what time is it nine ten oh let's have a play and you could even put, use a bit of this you always end up with a little bit over anyway in these sets that they do the kits there's always an extra piece or two um, to do with something else. So if I was going to do that, I'll just show you what's in the catalogue for this set. So Lovely You is the one on here. <laughs> it just happens to be the one on the cover. This one here. So they've used the gold twine here that's out of the um, Forever Greenery set. So it's a very similar twine to this, but it's this is copper. And the gold one you can separate. I'm not sure whether you can separate this one. I should get that other little piece I had. Um, and make the ends loose. Let me have a look. You can a bit, yeah. You can undo it a little bit. So this is... Um, so they've used... What have they used there? They've just used the white cardstock, haven't they? I'll grab my white cardstock. Or just grab my white. I might actually do it with a bit of the DSP as well. One of these. So 
So the cards, the note cards, so these are still the Whisper White ones. You can't get Whisper White anymore. They've changed it now to Basic White because they couldn't get the Whisper White anymore. These are the little note cards. So I've already stamped the back of those, but um, with my by feet handcraft, handcrafted just for you. And they come with little envelopes, so they're about that big. So I'll just use one of those. And we'll just have a play with that for a minute. Just get a bit of white out. Extra piece. So that we can make something. Let's make something quickly. Do you think I can do it quickly? <laughs> uh, I'll try, I'll try. So this is just, I, I don't always plan the cards um, beforehand. I'd like to go a bit impromptu. I mean, I like the kit ones because you can just go with that the plan there. So I'm going to pull out, what will we do? Let's have a look at the, let's look at the stamp set. Okay, I'm going to do something. I'm going to use one of these green leaves, I think. I like these. I like these. So I'm thinking if I pull out a piece of DSP out of here and use it as a background that I can put a leaf on as well. I'd like to be able to put a leaf on. Which one will I go with? That one's nice, isn't it? I think I like that one. What do you think? That one? I'm thinking that one. looking at this or we could even do that one the red one couldn't we all right let's have a vote the black one or the red one no I haven't got any of the basic white yet Jill have you got any plan to get some but I just haven't put an order in yet for that I might put it in my February order and get some so I'm playing with this so while you're thinking about this one or that one this one or that one I'm going to cut so when you're using the punch uh, you so I'm going to stamp one of these and we'll need the sentiment Thing, probably the wider one now I can't I can never remember off the top maybe the red I like the black daisy <laughs> okay oh it's Diana like didn't notice the difference okay cool well that's good to know so it looked good in the video I watched so the widest one here is 20 let me just read that up close. Hang on. I, I'll cut it to 20, 25 millimetres. So they're all different sizes. So if you cut them, if you cut your paper to the next size down, let me just go there. I think it's 1.9, that one. Yep. And the, the smallest one is 13, 1.3. So you can have different width cards and you can punch the ends different shapes. So that's really handy to know and I'll just oh, I'll get rid of the paper Hang on. 25 19 I think it's 13 28 nope Diana did you choose a card a DSP the black or the red I'm just going to cut my DSP to 25. So I'm using this measurements on this side tonight. So you've got measurements on this side up to four. So I'm going to go 25 there. I did not choose. Oh, she did not choose. <laughs> she did not choose. Got one of each. What am I going to do? To make one of each now. Right, oh Joe. Let me see. Let 
if I understand. Okay, what will I do? Uh, trust me, you're lovely. Heartfelt smile, always love is what makes us family. Um, which one will I choose? Which one will I choose? Trust me, you're lovely. Right, I know what I forgot to say last week. I said if I had to, the red. <laughs> okay, we'll go the red first. So last week, I believe I said in my when I was looking at the camera that I'd show you. Oh, I think I showed you how to put the stamps on the 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 labels on the stamps using the block. But I also do it the other way, which is what is written on the paper or in here. So I thought I better do that because I said I would, and then I didn't. I thought, whoops, a daisies, I missed that. What's that one called? Can't read it upside down. Isn't that terrible? Tr trust me, you're lovely. Trust me, you're lovely. Okay, so find the right one, and then I peel the end off one side. And if it's a stamp like this, it's really obvious which end you're putting on there. Sometimes the stamps are really similar, so you've got to be really careful and make sure you get the right edge. And you just line it up along here on the base. So usually I'm way over the top of this thing, but I can't do that here. So I'll just do my best. And I try and line it up like that. I think that's okay. Oh, I think it's okay. And then I just pull the backing off the other bit there. And then I put it back down so that it stays nice and flat. And then line it up at the end as well to make sure it's on the, the base. There you go. It's pretty pretty good, but I'm, <laughs> it's a bit harder when you're over the top, not over the top of it. You, it's best to be right over the top of it, which is hard to do on camera. So... Um, trust me, you're lovely. Will we use that one? Mm, I'm not sure. Yeah, we might as well. Why not? Let's chew you up for heartfelt. That one will fit on there, won't it? Okay, we'll go with that. Pop them over to the side. And I'll just get my thank you up here. So again, you could mix and match the stamps too. So if you want to blend it all, you could use one of these. Maybe we should do that. You make my heart smile. That's a nice one, isn't it? You make, see they fit on there as well. A day to remember. See, you could put all of these on there. Or maybe not that one. Just a little note. Now that's a bit big. Oh, it might just fit. Alrighty, let's do this one. So if I use the red, I'm going to cut out the DSP and just put it in behind there. And I think we might do this one. Which way does this one go? Yeah, that will fit there. Now on the back, we've got a different color. So we could, I might cut it out so that we've got a bit of that behind. I said I really wanted to put the green on, didn't I? What if we put, oh no, that might be too much under there. I really wanted the green, well maybe I could just stick a green leaf on it. Oh, let's try that. Okay, let me just measure this, because I don't know these measurements off the top of my head. So I'm going to cut the DSP. I want to see a bit of the white card. So I'm going to go to seven and a half centimeters how wide is this this is nine or oh, almost nine 89 8.9 centimeters by 12 Ooh, okay so I'm just eyeing it 11 by seven and a half <laughs> no science to this tonight I'm just playing I'll just put my little cutter down I'll just come over to this side and go seven and a half, is that what I said? <laughs> Actually, I'm just thinking, thinking, thinking music, please. Uh, 11, ah, I'll just cut it. I'll just cut it and make more cards, hey? 
Here we go. Eleven. I say eleven. No, eleven and a half. So this is what I do, okay? I'll just stick it on there like this and go, where do I want to cut it? And it's looking like 11, okay. Sometimes I measure them and be precise. And sometimes I don't. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Right, now, the next question is what colour will I stamp it in? If I stick that little flower, maybe I should put a little flower on as well. We could stamp a little flower, couldn't we? Um, I guess the thing with this one is it's bigger. It's a bit bigger than the other one. Let's find a flower in here, because they've got flowers in here. I might do that. About a yellow flower. What about a little yellow flower? We could stamp our little sentiment. Have it down the bottom. Any other colours? that little packet. Let's see what they've got. Two yellow flowers? Two yellow flowers. Oh. Yeah, the other flowers are a bit big. I'm just tossing, I don't think I need more colours in there. I was thinking about that before. sure about that yellow flower. Do -do -do -do. Oh look, this one's got some leaves behind it. This one's got leaves on it already, look. We could do more flower leaves. No, I don't like that with the red. No, nope, that's going. Just tossing up about the flowers. Not sure about them. They're not doing it for me. Right, oh, I'm going to stamp. I'm going to stamp. And I'm going to use, I think I'll just use the black tonight. This one. Just pop it down about there. Let's clean that off. Now with this one, you just trim the ends in by popping, the, popping them in. So I'll use the, I might use the flat end. And if you look inside, actually if you turn it over like this and look inside it, help helps if you undo it first. <laughs> helps if you unlock it first okay as long as you can't see your ink up here you're right okay so if you want to get an idea of where your thing is sitting I just put it on top so I'm going to go a bit shorter than that so I'm going to cut a little bit off to start with and go to about I'll take off that much and see what that looks like and yes I usually measure this first so we've got about one and a half at the end. So I'm going to do the same on this end. So one and a half is about there. I'm just looking at the measurements here and my letters and then I'm pushing that up. So I get about the same on both sides. And then I'll put it in. So it should fit in here nicely. Yep, it does. See if it fits in that gap. So just make sure it's butted up to the edge there. And I just do it like that. Do the same to the other side. So 
This is a very handy little punch because you can do so many different sizes. There's another one similar to this as well. Just can't think of the name of it. Does anyone know the name of it? <laughs> anyone got the name of it? I can't think of what the other one is. I think there's a mosaic -y one too because I was looking at buying it. I think there's a mosaic one in here. Isn't there? Here, here. Treasured tags, pick a punch. There's one. And is there a mosaic one in the manual catalogue? Let's have a look. Bundles. Where's my bundles? Die bundles. Bundles. So this is the lovely labels one. There isn't one. Why did I think there were? Oh, hang on. What's this one? Oh, that's the same one. <laughs> that's the same one. I don't know why I thought there was another one. Okay, it's not. That one must be the one I'm thinking of. Right, there we go. There's my little label. Trust me, you're lovely. Now, look, I did stamp that little tiny bit crooked, but never mind. It'll be all right. Trust me, you're, you know what, I'm wondering whether to go this way. And I might just put some of the string under there. What do you think? Or we could get some ribbon to match that. And I could just put a little leaf there because we've got a lot of flowers already. And that's a nice simple little card, isn't it? Alrighty then. Use this one. And this sort of brings them all together then, doesn't it? Might need to get some more. I don't think you can order this separately. I think it just comes with the kit. So I might just use a little bit of it. I'd even just put a bit underneath like that. Like that. I like that. There we go. Alrighty. Now we got a plan. See how it happens quick some days and other days. <laughs> Not. Not. And you could even use that side if you really wanted to. You just do all sorts of things. I get my bling working. Hang on, get my little silicon mat out. This is so handy. This craft sheet. Right there we go. It just makes such a difference once you get it started. So if you've never crafted before, this is a great place to start with these tools, these things. Uh oh, didn't get it right. Oh well, that's where it's going. <laughs> that's it, that's where it's going. Okay, now I'm just going to take that back over there and work out what we're doing. See now, I'm going with the um, natural inclination of the twine now because it wants to curl and I like that little curly bit I want it to come out to there so that we've got it under there like that so I'm actually going to use a bit of this oops I am <laughs> I am I am I am Okay, the other way to get this to go is put, just roll it a little bit with your finger like that. And then it just starts. Okay. So I'm just putting that there to get my this piece on. How did I have it? Like that. I want to stick that there so that I get this piece that yes I do love circles look at that 
I do love circles. And then this piece is going to go somewhere there. Not sure I've got it right yet. I might have to go a bit smaller. Is it how I had it before? I think that's okay. Right, just push that down a bit. And we'll just put a couple of dimensionals on the back of that. Thank you, Jill. Just going to pull them off. I know. Swap and change, don't I? There's more than one way to get it back off of dimensional. <laughs> Have a look at the position. I think I'll put that there. Actually, that's all right up there, I think. Do I want it down lower? Do, do, do. Okay, so I want that to sit out a little bit more. So when I stick this on, I'm going to bring that out a little bit. I might put that under there like that. You know what we could do? If I put that underneath there with some glue, we could... Hang on a second, hang on a second. Oh, just got to find it. Just got to find it. There's some little tiny flowers in here. These ones. That one, or this little flower on here. I know, I would normally do this before I stick it together. <laughs> but, it's got to get it off. Let me see how big it is. Or we could actually stamp it and then cut it out and pop it up, couldn't we? Or I could use this funny little bling thing here. Hang on, let's get that off. Let me get that off there. Okay, so this is the other way I put my stamps onto my backings. Are the labels, I mean. You've got to get that edge off. bit off, take it all off and then find your stamps. Here's my stamps. Right, so I put that down so that the pattern is up the right way because it's a bit of a funny shaped stamp that one. Sticky and put that over the top of the stamp. Push it down and there you go. So I'm just thinking, no, maybe not. I don't like that now. You could put that on the end, so another time. Look at that. That would make a nice end on this, on this punch. Look, there. We'll have to do another one another time with that one. So I think I'll just do this little, I'll come back to that one another day. We'll put this stamp on. And I might just do him separately on this little piece of card here. And what colour will I do? Um, 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 um. Should stick that in before I forget. I shall put a glue dot on that. I think I only need one. I just need it to stick in there. I liked that in there. I like the way it sort of sits there. Right, EO. Let me get a little flower. What colour would I do my flower? Um, um, 
I should go the colours are in the pink flowers let me have a look so all the colours they tell you what colours are in things when you find the brochure and on the packets they tell you so on the packet oh this packet they're not telling oh no that's the wrong packet don't worry about me that's the wrong packet hang on this packet <laughs> celebration okay so we've got flirty flamingo maybe I'll use that petal pink poppy parade there's lots of pinky ready colors there but I'm thinking the flirty flamingo let's see what flirty flamingo looks like uh, find flirty. so flirty flamingo is that color there I'm not sure if that's going to be too too flirty flamingo <laughs> The same red as the background. Yeah, I thought about that. But then I thought, mm, that'd be the dark one, wouldn't it? That'd be the um, Poppy Parade, I think. So what about Poppy Parade? Sure, well, let's do one of each. Then we'll know, won't we? one in that one so that's my flirty and then we'll just do that's my bit of paper do one in this oh look I got ink on there I still got ink on my finger that doesn't take much does it never mind Never mind. Rub it off. I still touch the ink pad. I'll just stamp over it. That one comes out dark, doesn't it? Look at that. Let's have a look. Ooh, cut them both out. <laughs> Stamp off. Alright, I'm going to move some things out the way here. A little bit chaotic, doesn't it? Get the ruler out the way. Right. Keep my little card on there. And the little envelope. My envelope. It's my little envelope. Okay, so I'm thinking. I don't think I have a die cut for this one because it's in a. This one comes with the punch, not the flower die. So I'll just cut him out. Red. You like red? Number two. Everyone likes this one. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? That'd be good as a background flower, though. It's just like a paler version, isn't it? Righty oh let's get my cutting skills happening. I do a lot of fussy cutting these days. I haven't got my right glasses on, that's the trouble. <laughs> so I can see your comments. <laughs> let's have a go. Do it roughly. Doesn't have to be fantastic, does it? As long as it's sort of a bit here and there and wiggly wobbly. So I try and move the card more than the scissors. It's a bit hard when you've got such a little piece, but it's not too bad. Trim that little bit off there. And find a dimensional. Just stick on the back of it. Let's pop it on a dimensional. Here we go. 
go. And I think I'll put it... You can even shape it a little bit if you wanted to. Probably with a smaller dimensional. I've put a big one on. I think I'm going to stick it there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. What a simple little card. That worked out alright. And that is so pretty, that copper. You know what I forgot, don't you? I forgot to use my bone folder on this one. Just use that. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. So that's kind of combined the two sets. So that way if you bought both of those, if you were, even if you only wanted to get something small, you know, that's a good bundle to get together. And you can mix and match them a bit. And then you've got the stamp set to use afterwards, which fits nicely on these tags as well. Ah, look, there's some little leaves on here as well. Pop that there. And that there. Right, well thank you for joining me and if you're wanting to do any crafting with me let me know. My next class is on the 27th of February and we'll be doing the Dandy Garden suite which if you're not familiar with that is really lovely with the dragonflies and the set I showed you last week with the little card is that one. I have that one out. I don't know where I've stuck it now. I've hidden it now. I hide things as I go, you know. They just get piled up on the side of my table. <laughs> and I've hidden it. I hid it somewhere. There it is, I found it. It's always found, don't worry. This one here has a dragonfly on it. Look. So the dandy garden set. I'll just put that there for a second. The Dandy Garden Suite is on page, let me see, uh, 25. So I haven't planned my cards yet. I'd like to do that soon. But if you're wanting to join in, let me know. And I pre-cut the kits. But I can't do any stamping for you. You have to do your own stamping. So I'm happy to meet somewhere like I do with Di. Um, I've inspired you to go and make a kick card. <laughs> good, good, good. Do you want some bling on there, Di? I'm wondering about that too, actually. So the Dandy Garden is this one. Dandy Garden Suite. And it's got lots of dragonflies and, oh, just gorgeous flowers. and It's got all the dyes. And it's got the punch as well for the dragonflies. It's got some ribbon and the little ladybugs. And I used them on our card the other day in the last class on this one we put a ladybug up there on the cactus so that was cute and um, yeah that's just a really nice set so I've got that one so I'll be able to pre-cut all the bits and pieces so you, th you think we need a bit of bling on this one which bling do we want with that because we've got the copper there already I have to be careful I stick with that let me get my bling out <sighs> Just got a bit of bling here. Just gotta find one that might match it. Unless I go for the plain. Um, could go for a plain one, like a red, but I don't know if that'll clash. Got that. Oh, we've got some no, champagne will clash, I think. <laughs> champagne and copper. <laughs> Uh, what else have we got? I don't have much in the way of copper. Got some copper stars. <laughs> um, what else have we got? I think I had plain silver in here, but I can't see them. You know what? They're probably in something else. And up here they are. They're always hiding somewhere. I think that'll clash with that again, though. Green green bling like one of these that's about the only green I've got um, the holiday rhinestone green let's have a look let's have a look 
I've got that green or this pale colour. What about the pale one? Put on the end. Yeah, I was thinking I needed something here. You like the pale one or the dark one? Do, do, do. Uh, what about that size? Let's see what this looks like. If I put a green one there, that colour? I could put a dark and a light. Let me put that down for a second. Let's see what the light one looks like. No, I think the darker one might look better. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking the darker one. Just one there or two. Ooh, one or two. I could go one and a small one. Medium and a small. Or a large one and a small. Or um, so the, the flowers there. I'm thinking to to yeah I'm just trying to decide which size to use do 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 I need four hands no <laughs> I need two hands I need two of these that's what I need two of these so I'll just pop the end out just gonna see what the large one looks like do 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 I think I'll do that what do you reckon let's do it Can't get it off. Hang on. I just like to see what they look like before I stick them down. That's one. Now I'm going to go the two. A bit closer, a bit closer. There. There we go. Yes, I was thinking that when I was looking at it. Sometimes I have to stop and do something else for a minute and then come back to it. That helps. Right, here we go. I bling out the way. Bling out the way. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. I like that. That's the hardest bit. I know. It's a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Right, so there we have it. I've got lots of ideas there for you. Here interested let me know if you want any help with any of it happy to help all the time straighten up my table <laughs> okay thank you so much for joining me again and I really had a lot of fun doing that it's really good and relaxing I really love it so next week what did I have planned for next week I had something and I didn't write it down <laughs> I had something in my head that's the trouble, isn't it? You've got to write these things down. Um, no, it'll come to me later. Next week, I'll tell you what we're doing during the week. <laughs> okay. But I think I'll keep the focus on celebration for now because it's um, only on till the end of February. And we want to, you know, want you to make the most of that so you get a free product out of the celebration cap brochure when you purchase $90 of products. So every $90 you purchase, you get a free. Some of them are $180 spends and some of them are $90 spends. So you just need to have a look at that in your brochure. And yeah, so that's lots of fun. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll catch you later. Ciao.